Hey, what's going on everybody? In this episode, we're gonna be touching on access modifiers, and this can get a little confusing if you don't have any kind of knowledge in packages. So if you need that, go check out the previous video. And shout out to geeks for geeks for giving me this table, saving me some time. We're gonna go through each scenario here and understand the difference between all these options. So we have worked with some of these access modifiers in this series. So we've worked with private, and that's pretty much the most restrictive. If you just if you want to keep a method or a field private to just that class, that is what you would label that field or method with. And public is the exact opposite. That's the most available. Anybody can access that method or that field. Then default and protected are somewhere in between, and we're going to basically go through the different scenarios. So the access location that's closest to home is the same class. So that'd be like accessing a field from another field or a method inside of the same class. The, the farthest from home here is a different package non subclass. And you can see that's only available with public. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you code to get a different package non subclass and then we'll be going through all these different levels and seeing what's accessible and what's not. So I have some code ready for you guys. You can copy and paste it, or if you're just trying to understand the concept, just follow along. We're gonna be working with a static method just to access it real easy, and then we'll be modifying its access level. So let's take a look. So this is our class with the main method, and I also created this other method we're gonna be using, which is called do something. It's a static method and right now it's public. And this is all within a package. Then we have this other class, which is also a package, but it's a different package. You can see it's dot other instead of dot YouTube. So we have two different packages here, but we're importing the YouTube package into this class here. And then we're accessing that method perfectly fine. You can see there's no compilation errors. Everybody's happy. If we go back to this access dot do something and we were to label this as private well now it's not going to be so happy we go back over and you can see it's no longer accessible so let's put that back to public go in here and set this to public so right now we are in a class that is in a different package and is not a subclass of access if it was a subclass it would say extends access so now we are in a subclass inside of a different package, which is cool to know that you can do. So the way we have it set up right now, we are in this one right here, a different package subclass. For public, the method is accessible, and for protected, the method is accessible. So if we label this method as protected, we can still access this method just fine. However, since protected is one layer more restrictive, if we did not extend this class here, we would not have access to that method. So that is the difference between public and protected. This difference is only gonna come up on occasion if you are extending a class, but you are within a different package. Now the next restrictive setting is default, and that's if you don't put anything. So let's go to that one now and see how it's different. So we label our method as default by just leaving it off there and we cannot access this method here. Even if we extend access, we're still not going to have access to it, and I'm just gonna make sure I save everything so we're good to go. And make sure you type everything out right. And you can see we still get an issue here. That's because we are trying to do this level of access, and that's only available on protected or public because we're in a different package subclass. So if we want to be able to access it in default, we have to be within the same package, and that's it. So default keeps it to the same package. You can access it in any class, it doesn't have to be a subclass, and as long as it's in the same package, it's accessible. So that's the difference between default and protected. With protected, you can access it in a different package, but only if that class extends the original class. Now the last difference here is default and private. And this one's actually really clear. With default, you can access this in a subclass and 
a non-subclass. So pretty much any class as long as it's within the same package. For private, it's only within the same class. So let's go through an example of this. First, let's just get rid of this other class because we're not gonna need that anymore. Delete, okay. So we have something private here and we'll just make it static so we can access it. Int x is five. So that way we can access it in the static method. We can set it a value like so, and that's perfectly fine. And you can do the same exact thing with default. Even if we take private off there, it works perfectly fine. The difference arises when we're working with another class that's in the same package. So if we create a new class and we make sure this is part of the com.calebcurry.youtube package and give it a name as something like same package in here, let's say we have some method, we can access it by saying access.x and assigning it a value. This is accessible with the default access modifier, but if we label it as private, it's no longer accessible inside of this other class. So that's where the difference comes up between private and default. Oh, so that's a lot. So let's just review real quick. Here are the four access modifiers, and here are the five different ways of accessing data. Default allows you to access it anywhere within the same package. Private allows you to access it only within the same class. Protected is similar to default with the only exception that if you're extending a class in a different package, then that's fine too. As long as you're extending the original class, you're good. In public, you can access it anywhere. So those are access modifiers for you. Get some practice with those. They'll probably come up a lot in your career. So thank you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.